Well, the brand new River 2 is here. Now this is EcoFlow's newest offering, and this one is tiny. Now in typical fashion, because they have their Pro Series and then their River Series, now the River 2 Series, this is the old River model. And the River model would not come with this expansion battery here. And it had almost a 300 watt hour battery inside. And then you could add this other battery here to make it a River Max. So this is the River 2. It is not expandable with an extra battery. And it is very lightweight and portable for your ease of use for charging little things. This is by no means a solar generator that you would use for emergency preparedness, but definitely something for charging radios or phones or laptops or drones or simple things on the go. And so I wanted to show this to you just as the new offering that they've got. And then I'll also do another review of their River 2 Max. So if you're interested in a really portable, lightweight system, then this might be the system for you. Let's go ahead and get into the testing. So it's a very, very simple unit. There's one three prong, uh, 120 volt outlet, and then one two prong right here. You've got USB-A, USB-A, USB-C, and then a typical 12 volt cigarette lighter port. On the back, you've got your charging cable, which is just your normal cable here, no big adapter brick uh, on the cable. So that's really nice that's built into here. And then an XT60 solar connector. So very simple and lightweight. This has all the specs right on the back here. This is a 256 watt hour battery with a 300 watt inverter and 110 watts of solar input. I don't want this video to get too long, so let's go ahead and jump right into the testing of this. The reason I test this at its maximum output is one, to see if you can do it and actually perform to its rated amount because so many systems of the past say one thing and do another, and that still happens today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 300 watts load on this, and then we'll charge it up by solar and see how well it does. So that ran for nearly 40 minutes. The housing is definitely warm. The fan was really quiet the whole time running that load. And we're actually doing a 1.2 C discharge rate, which is considered extremely high for doing a test like this. So at a 1.2 C discharge rate, we get about 65% efficiency, which would be normal because it's draining so hard. It probably would have been better to drain this at 250 watts to match the battery capacity at a 1C discharge rate. But the point is, it hung in there no problem at all doing the 300 watts consistently nonstop through the whole test. So that is very impressive. I like that a lot. Uh, the fan is no longer blowing. Still reading a display here, which is actually impressive on its own, because more often than not, solar generators, once they drain all the way down to 0%, their screen even stops working because it doesn't, doesn't have enough power left even power the screen. So nothing but good news so far on this little unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off and then we'll do some solar testing. And I've got a 220 watt bifacial solar panel from EcoFlow outside pointed up at the sun and we have a very clear skies. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see what kind of input we can get. This unit lets in up to 110 watts and immediately we're at 120. Whoa, it went up to 135 watts input for a second. Now it's max at 110, but yeah, 110 watts, no problem going into this unit. So this is gonna charge up in just 43 minutes. That's really fast. It's always nice to see the rated solar input actually going in. It is a very rare thing to see the rated input on these solar generators actually happen on screen. So that is a huge, huge thumbs up for EcoFlow. It's pretty incredible that it's putting in 110 watts fully. I'm very impressed with that. Now the main way of charging the River 2 is obviously with a wall charger and it's nice. There is no power adapter brick. It is all built in to the River 2 within. And so all we do is plug in this right here and this charges up really fast. We give it a second here. And from the wall, we're getting 343 watts wall charging into this. And it's pretty incredible because you can 
charge this in less than an hour basically, which allows you to reuse this constantly, even if you're on the go or something like that. I know my truck has a 400 watt inverter in it, and so I could recharge this very quickly while I'm out and about using this to power who knows what. So it is a handy little tool, but it is nothing of the right size for emergency preparedness. But if you are looking for a very portable battery for running laptops, drones, phones, radios, stuff like that, then you may want to look at the River 2. And I will be doing another review on the River 2 Max, which is the direct new version of this old one right here. And this one I still use all the time for a little bit of power. And so now I've got the new ones here. And so I'll be bringing more videos like that, as well as many more upcoming videos about many other solar generators that everyone's been asking about. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for being here. Be prepared. Have portable power with you. Get your food storage. Have fuel on hand, you know, water, filtration, especially all of those things are very important to have right now. So thank you so much for being here. Be prepared. I will see you guys in the next video.